All right, so you just learned how to uh, basically melt data or reshape data from a wider format to a longer format. So let's go ahead and use that knowledge to, um, to perform this knowledge check. So this knowledge check says, given the following data frame, reshape the data frame from a current wide format to a longer format. So we can see this data frame down here, and this basically is, uh, you could think about this as um, uh, teachers and the number of courses that they teach each year, okay? Now we see that the we have a variable, the year, across the columns, and we have the number of courses they taught in that year is underneath each year, right? But what we wanna do is reshape this data frame so that we have a name column, we have a year column that lists the year that they're teaching, right? So these values that we see in the columns. And then a courses column, which contains like the number of courses they taught that year, right? So how do we do this? Well, we're going to use the DF. Well, we have a data frame called DF. We're going to use the melt method, all right? So within melt, we're, we can provide a few different bits of information, right? So one, we want to specify the identifying variable, right? Or variables, okay? So this could be one or more. For us, it's this name, right? Our objective is to reshape the rest of this data over here, but we wanna link it to the name column, right? So we're gonna go ahead and specify a name, right? So next, what we're gonna say is, what is the um, variable name of the columns that we're gonna take from the headers here and we're gonna convert that into a column itself. And what we wanna do is we wanna take these year values and convert it into a year variable, All right? And then next we can go ahead and say we wanna take the value name equals courses. And what this is doing, it's saying, take all of the values, right, that we have listed under these current columns, and we're gonna create a new column called courses, and that's where those values will um, reside. So if we go ahead and run this, we can see we reshape our data frame from basically four or five observations and four columns to 15 observations across three columns, right? And now we have, for each teacher um, in the year, the courses that they taught. So in 2018, Tom taught one course. If we come down here, 2019, Tom taught two courses, and so on, okay? Now, one thing that you, you may have noticed here is that I didn't specify which columns here that I want to reshape. Right? And the way that melt works is if I don't specify that, then what happens is it just uses all columns other than the identifying variable column. What I could do is I could say, all right, I want to use these variables and provide a list of the variable names. So here I could say it's 2018, 2019, in 2020. So what this is doing, it's explicitly saying, here are the columns that I want to reshape. I'm gonna take the headers and turn them into this variable name, year. I'm gonna take the values under those columns and turn them into a new variable called courses. And when I run that, I will get, oh, value vars. I will get the same result that I got before. 